Hello? Where are they travelling to, please? Uh, to New York. New York, can I, can I just confirm the first name? Nikki. Good morning. How are you? Welcome to London's Heathrow Terminal 3. We are going to be on the Virgin Atlantic brand new A350-1000. I'm going to be in the new upper class suite. Emily? I'm in the brand new premium. And I'm in economy class. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's go. This is the economy uh, checking desk. It's time to check in at the premium desk. Got my passport in hand. Let's go. Thank you very much. It must be said that Virgin Atlantic upper class check-in is a dream. So they have this whole separate wing, the staff are incredible, the car pulls up and right outside the door, staff come and welcome you in, take your bags from the car, you don't carry anything, address by name and boarding pass issued and bags checked in within minutes really and now using a separate security channel um, to head to the lounge. I don't know what the other guys are doing but they're not going to be having a swish or swanky experience as I am. How was it? It's good. It was really seamless, super friendly. Um, got the premium tag, so hopefully that means I'll get my bag quicker. Um, but overall, great experience. How was the Jean? Uh, it could be in experience being really good fun. Actually, one of the funniest ones I've ever tried before. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty quiet. And if you haven't checked in yet, just go there. There's some people checking in. So, like, no queue. How are you doing? Look at this. This is not okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be on a sofa in a lift for the uh, three second journey? Very, very relaxing. Glad I got to sit down there. So now we are going to enter the clubhouse. Well, Maybe I enjoyed myself a little bit too much there, having that wonderful treatment. I feel very relaxed. But the one thing I can't miss out on in this lounge, and it is one of the greatest things about the Virgin Atlantic Clubhouse Lounge, is this. A terrace. Now, I love planes, and I love watching planes, so being able to be outside, so close to the aircraft, is the coolest thing. Ever. I absolutely love it and we're surrounded by lots of Americans here, American Airlines, Delta over this side um, and a Thai aircraft taking off in the distance. This spot is so cool, I love it and on a sunny day you'd even be able to have a little relax on the uh, sunbeds while you watch the plane. Whew. Oh, somebody's excited by the new plane. Yeah, What's this? So pretty. Nosy. Okay, come on, let's go, let's go. So, I'm gonna leave these guys to go to their own section, but because I am in upper class, I am gonna take this gate. Walking up to a beautiful new aircraft. 
It's nice that they have two gates. It's not the biggest plane, so to have two jet bridges is a nice bonus. Hello. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Very well, thank you. Welcome on board. I certainly wish you a very pleasant flight on this particular aircraft. Please do explore, and any questions at all, please either contact yourself or any of the cabin crew, and we will try and help you. So welcome on board, and I wish you all a very pleasant flight this afternoon. Hello, and welcome to Virgin Atlantic on the A350 Economy Class. Uh, let me just show you what I've got so far. Uh, pillow. It doesn't show the special edition of the pillow, it's just a single pillow here. But it's still quite nice and simple. Um, and this nice red Virgin Atlantic blanket. The seat, I think, is actually quite pretty. Let me just show you. It's quite nice for sleeping. And you can adjust like this. I quite like the colors actually. I don't think there's a plug here, an energy plug. Amazing seat so far. I love it. Have it. I heard the A350 pillow. Oh, I'm sitting in seat 21A, which is bulkhead row, so meaning I have plenty of my room. I'm sitting in the loft right now, I'm a piece of fruit, but before I do that I'm going to show you what my sweet 6A looks like. Let's go. So this is sweet 6A and I'd like to walk through it and see all the different features, nice stuff, bad stuff that there is in here. So the first thing you saw was the door. So. It is a suite because it has a door, although the door only comes halfway across. I think if you're in the lying down position, this might create some nice privacy. But other than that, a full closing door would have been nice. Um, this is a nice extra, but I don't know if it really adds that much. The seat itself is very comfortable, really nice colour and soft leather seat like looks really really smart and also the fabric that lines the sort of back shell of the seat is also really really lovely there's an armrest here that lifts up and provides comfy support for your arm when you want to sit in an armchair position the table comes down from here the table is a nice size um, and it slides out this way. Now things I've noticed, you can't really get out of the seat once the table's open. You can put the armrest back down and slide out, but it's not that comfortable. The other thing I've noticed is it's quite close to you, so if you're trying to work on a laptop or eat, you are a little bit restricted in the space that you've got. The space to put a bottle of water inside here, but other than that, one key thing to note about the suite is that there really isn't any storage space. The screen is in here, so there's a button right here you can press. Screen swings out, nice big size, lots of options on here, same as in all the classes. Really love that they have uh, the tail cam on this plane, it's a really nice feature. I love watching the tail cam and seeing what's going on inside. Leg room is kind of endless. I've got loads of stuff down in the well down there, but there is lots of room here. Um, other features, there's a couple of little shelves here. This really is the most storage you've got. 
a perfect little shelf for my Invisaligns, which seem to find themselves absolutely everywhere. Um, and then everything is controlled from this panel here. Shall we try putting the bed into flat mode? So let's see what this is like fully flattened out. Okay, so in the lying down position, there's lots of room here, which is nice. There's plenty of space for the arms. This is a very wide area, especially with this armrest down. The actual head area is a little bit tighter, but I think when you're in a sleeping position, it's actually fine. Now down by the feet and knees, there is also room over here, and there's plenty of room in the footwell for me right now, but I think a full night's sleep would really tell as a bit of a tosser and turner. It'd be interesting to see whether my feet get tangled. I do have some stuff down here, my laptop and, uh, and a camera is down there, so um, it's kind of restricted, but even so, I think there's plenty of room for me. Generally, I prefer to have my feet free, but to have this nice enclosed space at the expense of having free feet, I think is an okay trade-off. Although I'm only playing economy, um, I've had a menu which has a selection of drinks and you can select one of the three options of meals which was the chicken, which is the one I ordered, um, pasta, which was a macaroni cheese and the cauliflower, which was the vegetarian option. Bacon. Hot town in economy, that's, that's the first. Now let's check this out. Chicken? Not sure. It looks a bit gross. Plastic, but really nice cutlery. Purple, pretty, but still plastic. Not bad. It's actually okay. I mean, can't say it was terrible. The tiniest little tray I've ever seen. I'm lucky that I don't have any neighbors. If I had, it would have been a problem, I think. Okay, so just got meal service. Uh, we have a starter, a main, a dessert, all served together, um, along with a second beverage option, which is really nice. For starters, uh, everyone gets the same. It's a Cajun pasta salad. And then my main, I selected the asparagus and ricotta gnocchi, which is served with a spicy tomato sauce, sweet peppers, and broccoli. Around the corner, of course, we have the virgin, iconic virgin salt and peppers. And dessert, passion fruit slice of cake. Salad's really nice. It has a nice uh, texture to it, especially with the noodle. And it definitely adds a kick to it, the Cajun kick that you would expect from the name. Braised beef with horseradish mashed potato, honey carrots, kale, and Madeira sauce. Okay, it's really nice. The braised beef is soft and tasty, nice spices. The horseradish mashed potato could be a bit horseradishier, if that's a word. Um, and the kale and carrots is really nice. Generally, it's a very warm, it feels like a Sunday. It's a meal that feels like a Sunday and it's really good, um, I'm happy with this. Finally for dessert, we have the raspberry sponge pudding with double cream. Ooh, look at this. Soft and gooey and raspberry on the inside. That is really nice, quite sweet, but soft and warm. Mm. 
Thank you. screen, plenty of entertainment, films and everything. No amenity kit, the only thing I was given was this headphone. It looks the same as premium. It's the same as premium. What do you think? It's not bad. Pretty. pretty light and I like this sort of movement. To be honest, it's not bad for economy. It's actually quite good. It's better than those terrible like ear phones, you know. Yeah. I would say very good for economy. Maybe not so good for premium economy. But good. So we have headphones here. Pretty basic. Rotate pretty seamlessly. Not bad. Labeled left, right? Definitely not noise cancelling. But decent sound. Kind of muffled. Not the best. Definitely could be improved. But for a premium economy headphone, maybe expect kind of something like this. Amenity kit called the goodie bag, new and improved. Let's go through it. It's almost like a cardboard, thin cardboard material. I kind of like it actually. So let's see. Toothbrush called the bamboo brush. Um, so sustainable, yeah, again, that's kind of the common theme that Virgin went with with these amenity kits. To kind of pair with that, you'll have your two in one toothpaste and mouthwash um, next up we have super important to me when I am flying our earplugs because nothing can quite wake you up like a ding of an overhead bell or rattled glass or just over talking to people so love earplugs super important to me kind of paired with that we have our eye mask love an eye mask Virgin branding, nice back end fleece. Yeah, again, let's try them out. Take my glasses off. Pretty nice. Maybe like a centimeter of light gets in, but literally can completely black out wherever you are. Approved sleeping conditions. And finally, we have our Virgin Atlantic branded pen. Overall, pretty green, environmentally speaking. Uh, but also can make the passenger experience so much more comfortable. So let's take a look at the amenity kit that you get in upper class. Um, it is in a new, it's called a goodie bag, and it's in a new responsibly sourced paper bag, which is really great because so much plastic is wasted in all these bags. It comes with some really nice stuff. I love the pair of socks, like real socks, not those rubbish socks that you usually get on the hands. An eye mask that told this complete blackout looks bright out here, so let's see if this works. So the eye mask is not quite blackout, but it's almost there. Nice and soft though. Uh, lip balm by Red, bamboo toothbrush again, sustainable earplugs, a nice cardboard sustainable pen with Virgin Atlantic branding, three more tubes, so we've got toothpaste, white ink, nice, energizing hand cream, and a global protection day cream. Let's try out the headphones. Okay, sound quality is not amazing, but they are relatively noise cancelling. Um, I feel like maybe these are not working. Come on, come join. Welcome to John F. Kennedy International Airport, New York. Round up in three words. Round up in three words. Beautiful cabin, extraordinary service, tight. You heard it here first. Tight. Cozy, let's say. <laughs> okay, cozy. That's more of a virgin word, I think. What are your three words, Nikki? Fun, sexy, and. No way to put my shit in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a word. It ends. Tasty. Great value. And comfortable. That's 
that's it. Virgin Atlantic, A350, 1000, from London to New York. We're in New York now. So that was Premium Economy on Virgin's brand new A350. Overall, fantastic product. And this was Virgin Atlantic. Economy class on the A350. Good fun.